And first of all, I should say that uh, this issue has been discussed, that uh, as to uh, that uh, the lymph nodes mid lesions are perceived in a different way, and lateral lymph nodes, this issue is also well known. And I'd like to mention uh, the publications which has already been mentioned. It's an uh, article analyzing 20-year experience of treatment of uh, 11,567 patients uh, in Japan. And uh, here uh, there are arguments for uh, Western and for uh, Japanese uh, positions. Of course, there are differences in five-year survival between metastatic patients metastasis inter internal uh, iliac lymph nodes and external iliac lymph nodes. And those differences are statistically significant. And uh, it seems to be an argument uh, uh, in favor of uh, Western perception. And if we compare the uh, five-year survival, cancer-specific survival rate with uh, external lymph node uh, uh, impairment, you see um, the survival rate is about 34%. But unlike uh, metastasis in such organs like liver uh, or lungs and others, in this case, uh, five-year survival reaches 27%. And the difference, again, are statistically significant, and that's why this is an argument in favor of Japanese concept that external lymph nodes should be considered as regional metastasis. Once again, I'd like to mention results of uh, uh, the only randomized trial. Uh, also uh, from our Japanese colleagues. It's uh, uh, Japan Clinical Oncology Group, and uh, that study involved uh, 33 leading uh, clinical sites of Japan. And if you check out the uh, differences in those groups, which uh, use total mesorectomectomy plus uh, lymph node, uh, extended lymph node dissection and, and total mesorectomy to me, then if we, in this case, if we discuss the uh, disease relapse, I mean remote and uh, local regional uh, relapses, the differences are not that significant. And there are advantages in the rate of local regional relapses, uh, delta is uh, 6%, doing the extended lymph node dissection. But if we talk about uh, uh, five-year um, relapse-free survival rates, the difference is only 1.10%, uh, while, uh, while uh, prevent uh, with uh, total overall survival uh, in case of preventive lateral dissection, the difference is only 2.4%. Uh, Talking about five-year survival without local relapse, the difference uh, is here is a bit uh, higher, is a more than 5%. But this publication didn't, uh, didn't mention if this difference is statistically significant or not. So the 2020 was a quite a rich year. There were produced three meta-analyses comparing effectiveness of uh, lateral lymph node dissection versus total mesorectal excision. And it's a uh, Chinese meta-analysis uh, from uh, uh, European Union and uh, Scotland. And if you look at the meta-analysis of our Chinese uh, colleagues, then uh, as you know, first of all, significant differences uh, with regard to complication rate post uh, uh, lateral lymph node dissection. Then about uh, local recurrence rate with uh, uh, LND and without that, here statistically significant uh, differences were not uh, produced except for early mentioned uh, uh, tri uh, randomized trial. And again, it was said that 
Japanese uh, RCT uh, and Dutch shell uh, are compared and uh, here I would like to say that if we compare uh, LND and pre op radiation therapy uh, which is rather uh, which is not actually per still not perfect because this uh, study is a Dutch trial um, was done in the period from 2003 till 2006 so the pre op uh, pre op uh, RT. It was done in about uh, uh, five fractions uh, uh, with five sessions, 25 grays, and then after, uh, without any, uh, so to say, uh, it, um, after without, without any, so to say, uh, intermediate period, they did uh, surgery. So if you compare groups with total uh, mesorectal excision, we see the relapse was uh, 13 and 12 percent. And what, and another thing, so there is an LND, and uh, if we talk about the rate of relapses in the lateral space, why it is lower after pre-op, and uh, rather, so to say, delicate uh, radiation therapy in the Dutch trial. It is 24% only. And why those relapses develop in 57% of patients after uh, LND? So there is a big question. Uh, uh, and, uh, and it requires some additional explanations, which at the moment I do not, I do not have. So another interesting data. It's experience of two leading Japanese clinics. It's a National Cancer Center of Tokyo and the Aichi Cancer Center in uh, from Nagoya. So, if you look at the results of lymph node dissection in case of uh, impaired lymph nodes. So you see, out of 1,191 patients, a lymph node metastasis at morphologies uh, found in 599 uh, cases. And in the uh, total majority of cases, 45 and 44 percent, these were mesorectal lymph nodes. And you could see that significantly less they found lesions in uh, lateral lymph nodes and uh, naturally if you look at the uh, rate or dependence of uh, local relapses uh, for cumulative rate case of, of single or uni, uni or bilateral LND so if we compare those two centers so two sites then the Nagoya site totally in all patients they did lateral lymph node dissection and they enrolled even the T1 patients unlike the uh, guidelines shown in the previous talk and moreover they were rather aggressive if during the surgery uh, lat lateral uh, lymph node lesion was uh, found they removed uh, autonomous nervous system uh, structures and internal iliac vessels so the surgery uh, looks to be quite aggressive talking about other colleagues working in the national cancer center in tokyo then in 20 percent of patients depending on uh, first of all uh, what they found during surgery and on location of the tumor uh, around it so it was uh, localized along the uh, right hemisphere they did lift the section of the right in the left node and vice versa and so in 20 percent of patients from the tokyo center Lymph, lymph node dissection, uh, lymph node dissection was done just uh, on one side, and you see that there are differences. But then again, uh, big question: why the local relapse rate is so high? Because actually, still, in some patients, especially in Tokyo Center, they did radiation therapy, but the number was not significant, and also they. Uh, 
prescribed neo adjuvant chemotherapy, but it uh, it seems that it didn't uh, provide any significant effect on the uh, lo uh, local relapse rate. Also, I like this uh, study, retrospective analysis of uh, 40 patients uh, after TME uh, combined with L&D and 30 patients where uh, this treatment was added with pre-op radiation therapy. And here you can see very unusual for Japan data about sharp improvement of relapse-free survival you see in patients uh, without uh, uh, chemotherapy about 50 gray and it uh, it's, you see strongly elevated uh, local relapse rate in the group without uh, uh, chemo and radiation therapy and if we consider modern capacities of radiation therapy it's really inspiring it provides lots of lots of hope because here with the modern technologies we can change uh, radiation uh, fields so it would considerably improve uh, possibilities of the radiation therapy here i would like to show our clinical case uh, it's a patient 42 years of uh, age cancer at the eight centimeters uh, of its, his rectum in the right of territorial space there was a lymph node with a size of about uh, larger than one centimeter also we've detected uh, lymph nodes uh, with metastasis uh, in uh, mesorectal uh, um, fat and so as it's uh, recommended by MDT we decided to uh, to perform four chemotherapy cycles in a full fox remote so we noticed that the lymph node uh, size decreased a bit in the uh, obturatory uh, space and the uh, exophyt component of the tumor also decreased considerably of the primary uh, lesion in his uh, rectum but again as recommended by MDT, we decided to use pre-op chemo and radiation therapy. Here is a standard radiation field, but specifically in our patient, we formed such a pre-op radiation field, and the patient was given chemo radiation therapy with a total dose of 50 grays. And as you can see, first of all, we see almost no signs of metastasis in the uh, obturatorious uh, lymph node uh, we see less of lymph nodes in the mesorectal fat except for one node which had sign of uh, uh, metastatic lesion so we're interested in the following question is it possible to use all the mesorectum uh, ectomy and do not remove the lateral lymph uh, node group and it makes plans to uh, remember about Angelita Haber Gamma who 20 years ago suggested such an approach watch and wait and I would like to remind about her results that the complete clinical response post chemo radiation therapy was produced in 49% of patients and along with that I should stress that in 20% of those patients they had uh, lymph node uh, involvement, lymph node lesions. So it looks like uh, radiation therapy uh, affects uh, such metastasis either. Regretfully, if we look at the uh, publications uh, further on, such a result uh, could never have been uh, reproduced, uh, the results by the Haber Gamma group. And we can see that in one of the trial, only 12% of patients uh, produced uh, complete tumor elimination but we see rather a higher frequency uh, of uh, at pre-op stage that uh, lymph nodes were involved of course it's very hard to understand if we can trust the uh, MRI data and as it's uh, been mentioned uh, with, we can use three signs, changes of the lymph node shape or its structure and others, but majority considers that we should first of all look at 
lymph node size. Uh, lymph nodes uh, selected at the pre-op time uh, and of course they're different different uh, researchers provide different so to say uh, values but what would like to stress if you look at these meta-analysis results provided here that you can see the sensitivity is 72 percent specificity 80 percent so in other words every third patient in every third patient, according to the study, MRI does not show uh, metastasis in lateral lymph nodes while they're here, while they're there, and in every fifth patient, uh, metastasis in lateral lymph nodes by MRI are detected, but there are no of them actually. So it is always a big question if there are uh, metastasis in lymph nodes or not. Now I would like to uh, remind you about the publication, which is rather interesting. Lots of countries participate, uh, seven countries, very famous clinics, American and European one uh, are involved, three Japanese centers, and in total uh, uh, more than 1,200 patients were enrolled. and. Uh, those patients who were treated in European and uh, American clinics, they underwent radiation therapy and uh, lateral lymph dissection, lymph dissection was done by our Japanese uh, colleagues. Here's a cold clear uh, threshold, clear seven millimeter uh, size. So if So, if MRI showed that the lymph node site is above 7 millimeter, then it was the highest lesion rate, it was highest uh, uh, relapse rate in lateral lymph nodes. And similar with the correlation to the rate of local pelvic relapses. So, they've got such interesting data that since oh, they, uh, they analyzed also results uh, of uh, results of treatment with the use of pre-op radiation therapy and they found out that relapse in lateral lymph nodes uh, uh, I'm sorry, you've got just one minute to follow uh, Yuri, uh, yes, I'll try to be real fast uh, so I, what I would like to say it's about the results of uh, Korean Japanese uh, trial on uh, pre op radiation therapy in patients uh, 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 you see here two groups of patients uh, as you can see chemo radiotherapy considerably and statistically significantly decreases the local relapse rate in the lateral uh, uh, lymph nodes and at the end, uh, if answering to the uh, questions said, if uh, preventive uh, lateral lymph dissection is required, if lateral lymph nodes, uh, according to MRI, are not uh, altered, it's likely not uh, because the results are not different. Uh, lateral lymph dissection does work in the case of uh, altered lymph nodes, yes, but it's also an indication for neo uh, chemo. Uh, the radiation therapy. Can we use neo adjuvant chemo radiation therapy? Uh, can it be used as an alternative to lateral lymph dissection uh, with uh, lesions in lateral lymph nodes? Uh, it seems to be yes, but if there is a if there is a response as a full regression, and uh, do we need lateral lymph dissection after neo uh, chemo radiation therapy? Uh, in case of uh, uh, in case MRI shows lateral lymph nodes. Uh, uh, if there is no response on to chemo therapy, yes. Uh, but if but if there is a response, but if we see the response, uh, let's look at our clinical case. We did surgery of these patients. We did low anterior resection and lateral uh, pelvic lymphadenectomy. So what we found <coughs> uh, that uh, lymph node, which was in mesorectum fat, histology showed. Uh, 
uh, histology showed the metastasis. So those 18 lymph nodes, which were found at the lymph dissection, didn't show any metastasis. So we suggest the following algorithm. Thank you for your attention.